straight as can be. Yeah, pulls nice. One code. Okay, enter. Don't erase previously stored. We're leaving them. Read codes, stored codes. Press any key to select vehicle make. BMW. Diagnose. Okay, take a pick. There we go. Okay, so we've only got that one. Let's try it pending. Diagnostic module, okay. That's all we got. All right, so here we have her uh, up on a lift. I know I posted photos, but I just wanted to go uh, over the entire underside in a video. Um, trying to look for frame damage. Obviously, you've got the frame right here. Um, and it seems to be in pretty good shape. I don't see any damage, any frame damage. I know that, you know, up here is where we're looking for. Um, but no, this is just bubbling a little bit, but not anything serious. But yeah, um, under here. We're in good shape. Again, frame looks solid. We've got cross member there. Um, new lines look good. Yeah, under underneath this is incredibly clean. I gotta say, all the metal is very shiny. Uh, a little bit of wetness here. Uh, looks like, I don't know, what is that? Trans could be the, I don't know, is that the rear main seal? I'm not sure, um, but then you've got, I believe that's the transfer case. Uh, pardon me if I'm incorrect, but uh, hmm. so yeah, then you've got your rear diff back here. Um, also damn clean back here as well. And then you've got the double 335i exhaust setup. Again, really clean under here and uh, yeah, no damage to the frame from a visual inspection. We've got that there. Um, but yeah. yeah, everything looks like it should. Nothing, uh... And again, you know, this is only just a visual inspection from what I can see being under it. But there's a piece of the frame. Yep. We just took it out on the highway, we did the OBD reader, we went over the underside looking for frame damage. Um, just wanted to go over the hood because I know that that was uh, kind of a big question mark. Uh, we do have a little bit of gap there. There's, you know, my, my pinky, um, but pretty flush as far as uh, this crease goes. It stays the, pretty much the same. It definitely widens out towards the front. A lot narrow there, a lot wider there, um, but doesn't look too drastic. Now this side, I think we may just, the hood may just be skewed slightly to the driver's side, because we've obviously got a little bit bigger of a, of a uh, gap here. I can't fit my pinky quite uh, 
in it there, but I almost can there. Um, and then same pin will get here. So yeah, it may just be actual hood alignment. Um, and then let's pop. Take a look. Let's see if we can find any frame damage just from a inspection. Um, So, obviously, we've got a steel cross member here, which, is it steel? No, it's plastic. I can't tell. Uh, I think that's, wow, it's actually really, it's either very hard plastic or very thick steel, or very thin steel, but yeah, that looks to be a new piece there. Um, we've got our rails bits of the chassis let me grab the light here um, so you can see down in there um, like, like this guy there's one of the rails just under stuff uh, and it looks to be in good shape goes all the way back no crumpled metal that I can see um, coming over to this side again looks to be in good shape no crumpled metal um everything looks straight flush like these two corners look the same and then yeah like taking a step back not really seeing anything um so those of you you know, they want to blow the accident out of proportion. I, you know, I get it. It's a bring a trailer comment section, but uh, let's be real here. We're, we've gone under the underside. We've gone here now, and uh, we're obviously not seeing anything um, out of the ordinary. We've got this here all flush. So yeah, I'd say, you know, as far as, uh, these things go, you know, there's your hood mounts and struts. Yeah, okay, so here you go. So notice how there's a lot less up here, like these, this fork here, pretty much flush with the washer. But then if you come over here, uh, it's not flush with the washer. So you've got quite a bit maybe half an inch um, extra on top of that washer, but that's not the case over there. So that may explain, uh, you know, the, the hood and, and whatnot, but here you go, closing it back up. Fully closed, there you go. Here's the hood for you.